The California Gold Rush by Robert Fleck. This is a story about how gold was discovered in California and how it changed not only California, but the whole country. Thousands of people would make their way out west, hoping to strike it rich. There had been speculation and rumors for years that gold did in fact exist in California before the gold rush. This later became a reality when gold was eventually discovered at Sutter's Mill. It was at this point that the discovery of gold would forever change California. John Sutter was a Swiss immigrant who arrived in California in 1839. At that time he became a Mexican citizen and received a land grant of 50,000 acres in the Sacramento Valley. He proceeded to build Sutter's Fort where the city of Sacramento is presently. While well, at Sutter's Fort, Sutter himself learned about farming and related businesses. Sutter's Fort was a resting station for weary travelers and immigrants coming to California. In 1847, John Sutter hired James Marshall to build a sawmill at a site called Coloma. On January 4, 1848, James Marshall picked up a piece of metal at the mill that appeared to be gold. Marshall took the piece of metal to Sutter. They proceeded to test it, and it was in fact gold. The discovery of gold on Sutter's property put Sutter into a panic. He was afraid that the discovery of gold at the mill would cause his workers to stray away from the fields in search of gold. He was also very concerned that the discovery would bring countless prospectors onto his land. Sutter asked Marshall and his workers to do their best to keep the gold a secret. But unfortunately, word got out. By late 1848, the discovery of gold spread across the country. It was on December 5, 1848, that President James Polk spoke before Congress to confirm the accounts of gold being discovered in California. Soon after the discovery of gold became national news. As word of gold in California spread and more and more people began pouring in, it was inevitable that other discoveries of gold would be found through the land. Although John Sutter tried desperately to find ways to profit from the discovery, both he and Marshall never really got to enjoy any of the wealth, power, and prestige that they felt that they deserved. Instead, they set in motion a pivotal change that was something that was greater than they could ever envision and forever change California.